Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand insertion sort algorithm analysis. The concept of the working mechanism of insertion sort and uh, the algorithm explanation, uh, insertion sort algorithm explanation has already been made in our data structures course. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because you may not be able to understand what we are going to discuss in this class if you if you are not uh, uh, aware with, that, with those concepts. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class insertion sort so this uh, uh, the same algorithm we have discussed in data structures so uh, we will uh, we will try to find the step count the step count of uh, each and every step in the algorithm so let's start here if you take this line of code how many times in order to get the output how many times does this line executed this line will get executed n number of times so usually what we have seen so far in our iterative algorithms we have seen that the for loop the uh, the comparison the the conditional statement will get executed for n plus one step uh, one n plus one number of times why we have taken uh, n n here because we are going to start from here so we we will start from the first element and we will go till the end so that is the reason we are leaving this element uh, because it is the first element okay so uh, the the number of comparisons that is done by this line of code uh, in order to get the output is n and the next one is how many times does this one will get executed it is n minus 1 n minus 1 so uh, n minus 1 because uh, here uh, 1 2 3 4 four times will get executed so this line of code whenever we come into this line whenever we come into this loop then only this line of code will get executed as we are having five elements so it is getting executed only for four times so if you assume this array is the sample array so it will get executed only n minus one time and similarly this line of code will also get executed n minus one time now this is the very very important uh, point to understand from here to here so this while loop so understanding this concept will 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 make you understand the entire essence of this video okay so now how many times will this while loop get executed so are we sure about it no we are not sure so to analyze this what we will do is we will take the two cases one of the case is worst case and the other one is best case worst case means so if the elements are in the reverse order and we were uh, we are trying to sort them then it is going to take maximum amount of time so all the elements are in the sorted uh, reverse of the sorted order then it is going to take maximum amount of time because more number of comparisons are done so try to understand we'll try to understand by using the worst case first and then we will try to understand the uh, 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 best case we will take the best case so the, this this is best case because the elements are already there in the sorted order so using those cases we'll try to find the efficiency of this algorithm so and it depends upon this while loop so how many times uh, if in the first iteration where the j value is equal to 1 how many times does this loop iterate how many times does this loop iterate this loop will iterate for one time in the sense the number of comparisons that are done is uh, so we this loop will iterate for one time so this one will get compared if it is less than so it is uh, greater than so the, this this swapping is done and this four will get shifted here so if you watch the working mechanism then then you will be able to understand this concept so without watching the working mechanism you may not be able to understand from from now on okay for example if you take this one so the second iteration in the second iteration how many number of times this loop will iterate this loop will iterate this loop will iterate for two times see here for this comparison and for this comparison so it is going to iterate for two times and if you take this one this one for this one it is going to iterate for three times because this is smaller than all this it is going to find its position all these values will be shifted to this place and this two will be this is going to occupy this place so it is going to iterate three times it is going to iterate for three times and similarly if you take this one this one is going to iterate uh, last one and this last one is going to iterate for n minus one time try to get that this last one is going to iterate for 
it is going to take n minus 1 number of comparisons so this loop will iterate for n minus 1 comparisons for example if you take this what what does that what does this uh, this is representing this is representing sum of n minus 1 natural numbers okay so it is n into we will consider it as n n minus 1 you may get confused if you if you take this the sum of n natural numbers is going to be n into n minus 1 by 2 so this for loop sorry this while loop will iterate for n into n minus 1 number of n minus 1 by 2 number of times if it is in the worst case in the worst case scenario this is how the while loop will iterate for example if you take this if you take this best case so how the things will happen for example if you start from here so in the, for this first element uh, for this element this condition will fail see here a of i minus 1 so we are going to compare this with this a of i a of i means this one one greater than two is it true no it is not true so we are we are going to iterate with this this while loop comparison is done only one time is done only one time for example if you take this for this also this condition will fail so what is the comparison that is done so if if uh, uh, the comparison that is done is 2 is greater than 3 is it true no it is not true because the elements are already in the sorted order the comparisons are not done here because the elements are already there in the sorted order this while loop will not iterate this while loop will not iterate so how many times this line of code will get executed this this entire while loop means we are not going to come into this we are not going to come into this while loop and this the iteration of this while loop for for all these elements to get arranged in the sorted order it uh, it will iterate only once for uh, every iteration of this for loop so every iteration of this for loop this while loop so iterations are not done only one time this line of code will get executed this is nothing but same as that of the execution of this line and this line okay so this point is very important because the comparisons are not done because this condition is going to fail for all the elements because the elements are arranged in the sorted order this condition is failing for all the elements so this while loop will not iterate this will this will execute only one time for each time we, we are going to come into this loop try to get that point so the number of comparisons that are done is n comparisons or n minus 1 comparisons because uh, we, are, we are leaving this element so this is going to take n minus 1 number of comparison same as that of this one this one okay and this one how many times will this uh, get executed it is n minus 1 now sum of all these terms in worst case we will first see and next we will see for the best case sum of all these term is n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 by 2 plus n minus 1 so do we need to uh, do we need to consider about these lower order terms what is the if you if you evaluate this expression what is the higher order term that we are going to get as we have discussed the order of growth of the algorithm is the higher order term that we are going to consider so out of all these terms these n uh, 1 all these terms are lower order terms the higher order term that we are going to get is n square in worst case the efficiency of this algorithm is n square we are taking big o big o notation big o notation because if the if this this is the case means it is going to execute n square number of times but it is not the case for all the inputs for example if the inputs are 1 4 3 uh, 1 2 3 3 4, sorry 1 1 5 let's take it 5 3 4 Two. if this is the case these comparisons are not done but this comparison this comparison is done and this one will also get shifted but in the in the case the one will stay here three will also stay here and four will also stay here here the comparisons are not done so we are not sure if the input changes we are not sure that it is going to take every time it is going to take n square number of times that is the reason why we have taken this as a big o of n square the concept of big o has already been explained in our previous video videos so based upon that i am explaining it and now if you consider this uh, in this place it is going to have n minus 1 
in this place it is going to have n minus 1 how many n's are there 1 2 3 4 n's are there 5 n's are there it is going to be 5 n minus 1 2 3 5 n minus 3 is the uh, uh, time complexity that we are going to take uh, we are going to get and uh, the higher order term that we need to consider is n so in best case the uh, the algorithm efficiency is uh, we can take it as theta because uh, in the best case it is always going to iterate for uh, n number of times so it is it is exact number of comparisons and uh, so uh, whenever we uh, we were asked about the efficiency of insertion sort then it is going to be big o of n square big o of n square so i have taken this uh, worst case and best cases for better understanding there is a possibility right there is a possibility for you to get the worst case scenario and there is a possibility for you to get the best case scenario in that cases how the algorithm will work so in order to get that analytical thinking i have taken these two cases and i have explained the efficiency efficiency of this algorithm okay so the efficiency of insertion sort is big o of n square big o of n square okay so this is all about insertion sort algorithm analysis hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching